In American politics, we're not surprised to see members from the same family running for office. There are the Kennedys, the Bushes, and the Clintons. As far back as the beginning of the country, there was the second president of the United States, John Adams, and his son, the sixth president, John Quincy Adams. In this legislative fair factor, the speaker's edition, we ask, how many times have a father and son become speakers of the Minnesota House of Representatives? Was it A, three, B, two, C, one, or D, zero? The answer is C. The only father and son to serve as speakers of the Minnesota House of Representatives was John L. Miriam and his son, William R. Miriam. John Miriam served from 1870 to 1871 William Miriam served as Speaker of the House in 1887. The Speaker acts as a presiding officer over the House and among other duties is responsible for determining the number of standing committees and their areas of jurisdiction as well as naming the chairs, vice chairs, and members of each committee. The fact that only two speakers have ascended to the governorship may be surprising because the House Speaker is generally viewed as state government's second most powerful post after the governor. William Miriam used his role as Speaker as a stepping stone to become Minnesota's 11th governor. While he was governor, his administration adopted the Australian ballot, also called secret ballot, which allowed citizens to vote in comparative privacy Miriam's public service continued after his governorship. President William McKinley appointed him as director of the National Census in 1900. Later, Miriam would persuade Congress to establish a permanent census bureau, becoming the first to serve as its leader. Miriam's contributions to state and national government are significant, something a dad like his may have been proud of. You can imagine yourself as Speaker of the Minnesota House of Representatives this year at the State Fair. The House has a booth in the Education Building, complete with a speaker's desk and gavel. To feel what it's like to stand in this position of power, come and check out our booth. We're here every day of the great Minnesota get-together.